Hi guys, it's me, Jimmy Egg. So the question is that what is the future of sys admin and network engineer? First, let me read the question to you. My question is what is the future of sys admin and network engineer? Hi, I am in state I am in a situation where I just lost my job. I was working as a sys admin, but uh, it all changed when my boss hired this automation python expert he is basically the cause of my losing job i don't blame anyone what i used to do in five hours script does in 15 minutes my coach my question to you is is the future sys admin dad will automatic script eventually replace all sys admin so let's define something sys admin versus a programmer First, we need to define what sysadmin is. Sysadmin is a guy who physically go to a server room, go in front of a computer, and then he try to connect the thing, maintain the server, maintain the computer. That is called sysadmin, system administrator. He just administrate. And then a programmer is who only do programming. It can be like coding or writing a script. To do some kind of simple task so he's saying there he just lose his job due to a python expert or python script or python programmer he just wrote a script so let me give you a backstory okay before giving you a backstory i want to tell you something by the definition the guy who wrote a sys who wrote the python script he is also a sysadmin by the definition sysadmin sysadmin can be anything sysadmin main job is maintaining the stuff whether you do physically whether you take four hours whether you do by a script if you don't know i was a udacity coach i have taught about 100 students i'm not kidding you that udacity pay me quite well money so I was a coach of programming nano degree if you don't know programming nano degree is a Python programming nano degree a lot of students was joining it one of the guy was from Norway he was the head of a financial institute or financial institute which is worth in billions of dollars he was a head and then I asked him why you're learning this Python programming he told me Listen, Jimmy. Normally, I mean, my name is Register you, uh, Umar. So he said, "Listen, Umar, I'm a head of this company, but we do a lot of analysis. I mean, I'm learning Python programming to better understand, to better visualize the stuff, and then I guide him through. And then he's really freaking happy. I found a good course for him. I told him after done with Udacity nine degree, do this course." So this is not only the guy who's learned Python programming to visualize the data. Another guy who was in PC repair business, he's learning Python programming to get into computer programming. Another guy, a sys admin from USA, from the South Bay. That guy told me, Jimmy, I was a sys admin, but my job is going to be uh, lose at any moment. I can be fired at any moment. I'm not making up this story. Maybe I will be putting some interview. I think I recorded some of the my teaching. I will be uploading. You can, I mean, listen their stories. He was just scared that he's going to lose his job. Python is one of the wonderful language. I'm not a big fan of Python. You with Python, you can do web programming, you can do game programming, you can build desktop app, you can do the programming Raspberry Pi, you can do the computer vision stuff, and then rather use C. Just writing a simple Python line of code, I mean, can do a lot of stuff. So, I wanna better put like this admin and network engineer in the same bucket because they do not have a very shine future. The problem is that nowadays technology is becoming so robust and then we are going into like an atom uh, 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 in English we call it like automotive uh, I mean phase or whatever there's a I mean there's a theory I mean oh, I mean so called proven theory I mean how the technology I mean over the years I mean evaluate up to right now so I'm just saying that we are going to such a phase that where we do not require as much manpower and then before I am going to answer the question and I give you my opinion here's another backstory I was just reading an article tech article I was surprised they said I mean 
Pakistan is going to be a mini superpower in information technology in IT. I was surprised. If you don't know, I'm a Hong Kong national, but I'm a Pakistani origin. So I was surprised. I said, what's, what, what's this? I mean, Pakistan is going to be a mini superpower in information technology by 2025. I'm a little bit shocked. I mean, only nine years left. I mean, probably 10 years. And then I did my research. And then I did my research. So, if you're in Pakistan, just become a sysadmin. They need a lot of sysadmin right now. But, 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 but. By 2025, they will be cutting sysadmin. They really don't need much of the sysadmin. Why? Because the number one phase of any country, I mean, in technology development is building the infrastructure. Once the infrastructure is built, second phase is supporting the infrastructure. Again, sysadmin, the third, I mean, the first part, part, I mean, is build the infrastructure is by computer technician, computer support technician, server engineer, MCSE guys, or network engineer. The second part is system admin. The third part become, I mean, a little bit complex. Almost all tasks become outsourced or it become automatic, I mean. It runs some kind of robotics system, I mean, small, I mean, nowadays you can just build a small Raspberry Pi. Python, I mean, connect with multiple computers and then it can handle all of the stuff. It can do all of the administrative tasks. So currently, the students who are getting their bachelor degree in IT and they're becoming sysadmin, they're earning quite good money. But after 10 years, they will be out of job. Yes, we need sysadmin by 2025. But not as much this is a story of pakistan but if you're in usa or a country where there is already the infrastructure developed not like pakistan where pakistan is facing a technology boom right now i mean to be honest with you it's really awesome to hear that i mean a lot of students are easily getting job in pakistan if they get the it degree if you are one of developing country 10 years you have four years is admin so cool but if you're in a developed country europe canada usa whatever i mean the problem there is that you need to learn programming. So here I will bring the network engineer. The network engine network is becoming network as a service, which is called NAS. If a network engineer don't know how to write a simple freaking line of code, then he can't stay in a job. Nowadays our job, I mean, we nearly already built. I mean, we are moving into wireless technology. To be honest with you, I mean, we are moving to ten giga. I mean, bits per second wireless. To be honest with you, by that standard. We are nowadays we are deploying wireless network and deploying physical, I mean, plug in the modem cable. So it's very freaking easy. It's becoming very easy, I mean. So the point here is that you need to understand programming. If you want to come into sysadmin, master your trade, learn Python programming. If he's writing some kind of script, you need to learn to write. If you can't, the the sys admin which you are in I mean the sys admin with the job which you have that have no future the sys admin which I'm talking about is called the sys admin with a scripter uh, the person who writes script maybe he's called a scripter I'm just making the word a script I really don't know how to define it I there's no definition right now the sys admin who writes some kind of code what should he be called a sys admin a coder or whatever. I'm, I really don't know, but you're getting the point. I hope so. Does this admin have a future who can write some line of code and then who can multitask stuff, maintain the server, the computer, the administrative tasks? I mean, by using I mean few lines of line of script. I mean just copy paste, run the script, or just customize the script here and there. If you have done any programming, so you can understand what I'm talking about. If not then definitely 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 there's no future my opinion is that i if i were in your shoes i would not have continued as this admin because as my personal experience as i was a coach i mean teaching i'm a student i have seen a lot of sys admin learning programming some want to come into web development some want to go to android development or ios some just want to Keep their job, I mean. My personal opinion is look into web development, buy some of these books, I mean, like this kind of books, I mean, or game development, 2D game development, JavaScript game development, not 3D, 2D, or Android development. Personal opinion is that, I mean, 
if you really, really, I mean, can't, I mean, stop, I mean, your passion for this admin, then I will suggest you look into Internet of Things. Try to build some Raspberry Pi again, programming coming, I mean, I really can't suggest you any another thing, to be honest with you. I love this admin stuff. I was not a sys admin, but I have been in a shoes of sys admin for a while. I mean, just for a few weeks, I will say for sure, for a just I mean, I love that job. But when you see like Windows, I mean, 10 is so robust. I mean, people are building server from Windows 8.1. I mean, after the launch of Windows Server 2016, I mean, you didn't. I mean, clarify you, you were a Linux sys admin or Windows sys admin or what kind of OS sys admin were you? Now, I mean, after the launch of Windows Server 2016, if you don't have, I mean, look into Windows Server 2016 preview, then you must definitely look. I mean, we really don't need much this admin. I mean, Linux I mean, system are becoming more robust. I mean, we're going to cloud computing and the hybrid computing. We're trying to reduce the hardware size. Most of our things are turning into Nook. I mean, and you see Nook, I mean, rather than a big uh, clunky server. We really don't need, I mean, nowadays uh, our kid can, I mean, easily build a server with a Raspberry Pi, which can, I mean, could easily deploy, I mean, talk a Raspberry Pi 2, not Raspberry Pi 1, Raspberry Pi 2, can deploy in a production environment. I do not see any bright future for sysadmin. Maybe after 20 years, there won't be future for programming. You really need to change. If you stuck on one thing, you are a loser. I mean, if you look into Amazon, Amazon.com is surviving. Just, I mean, they're trying to evolve, evolve. I mean, they're trying, trying to always innovate. I mean, trying to bring something new on the table. I mean, they, they, they first start selling books, start selling CD, DVD, Amazon Web Server, tablets, Kindle. I mean, still, they're not making much of a profit. I mean, there's a bazillion example. I mean, most, I mean, now you see IBM, I mean. They were one of the best company. Now you can look into Microsoft. One of the was was the best company now. Microsoft going down. After five years, Apple is going down. I mean, Google is coming up. Do you remember the Yahoo days? I mean, every career, every profession have the up and down. You need to innovate. I was a PC repair guy. All I build PC, but PC repair business is that I really want to get into PC repair. And PC repair is my passion. I did that, but it's with that. So I jump into web development now. I'm thinking to get into PC assembly business. If you don't know, I'm I'm in I am in contact with a supplier from China, asking him to make my custom company case, which is called Compvita. Compvita is my register. I registered that. I re re registered my officially company trademark in 2013, and then that company I made. I don't know. Can I show you something? My logo or not? Whatever. Uh, maybe on the screen if you can see my logo after when I will be editing this video maybe I will be just put some kind of logo if you can't see excuse me so Compvita I just want to assemble compact PC case from China with my logo on it after that I will be putting parts in it and then trying to sell it eBay I just want to experiment it by profession I'm a software engineer web developer but I really want to see see how that go i mean you really need to start think i really love pc repair what i can do is that but still i try to innovate it i try to know i mean i did a lot of stuff i build website i build mobile apps i did a lot of stuff that's why i'm surviving the the people think is that i mean a lot of people really want to give their advice without real world i mean technology is running so i mean fast i mean one of the guy i mean i usually watch his eli the computer car but nowadays his advice is i mean going i mean down to be honest with you he's not in the market for more than six and seven year i mean in 2007 he closed his business i really love that guy he is my guru i respect him but the problem is that nowadays i just watch few of his video i mean it doesn't not really make sense so the point of here is to take is we are not in the market i mean even in one year you can become outdated so currently what i'm seeing is that this admin is dying out i'm not giving you my advice i mean my personal advice i'm giving you advice for the people which i taught them programming which i was a guide coach for them i worked for udacity i personally really appreciate udacity i mean if you want to come into programming now now currently i'm not working for udacity so do not take it right or wrong i mean i'm not affiliated with udacity right now 
because I need to do my own work. I mean, I'm really freaking busy and then I'm working on my YouTube channel, trying to make new lecture for my new Professor Rame channel. A lot of bazillion things are going behind the scene. Yeah, to be honest with you, I will say look into programming Android development or otherwise, I mean, the sysadmin you used to know is dead. It's dead. Is that if you have any more question you can email me at jimmy at geek at gmail.com number second thing do not freak out I really try to answer all of your emails to be honest with you you can you see I mean I have like 23 email left I mean I just save in it 23 email left to answer I if you don't know I mean the person I'm asking I'm answering the email I mean is on night I try to answer it because I promised him I was going to upload this video on Friday but I did it so I need to jump back to number one and try to answer their emails. Do not freak out. I'm not working for YouTube full time. I'm I'm in Korea. I need to go to my Korean language class. It's, I'm in a whole day class. I need to come home. I need to build a website for the clients. I mean, I need to do, I need to cook the food. I have a lot of stuff going on. The thing is that I'm a freelancer. I'm a freelancer web developer, software developer. I would like to go to software engineer because I can understand the design better. So I am qualified to say that. The point is here is that maybe in future I will be working full time on YouTube. I'm not earning. I'm to be honest with you. I just turn on the monetization. I mean, you can see the ad, but they do not give me any money. To be honest with you, so it's it's not much. To be honest with you, so I'm currently working full time. My wife is saying me to go get into YouTube, try to make good lecture, try to talk about the experience which I learned. I have did like 40 jobs in my life. My wife is forcing me to talk about on my YouTube channel so people can really can benefit from it. But currently I'm not working full time. YouTube is my partner. Even the YouTube, uh, I mean, even the YouTube, I mean, partner management, I mean, uh, uh, manager uh, which is responsible for Taiwan and Hong Kong contact me. I had a Google Hangout meeting with her. She said me I can really grow because my YouTube channel is growing very fast. She's telling me she can provide me like some camera, some lighting because the lighting. I say okay later on first let me see how much content I can produce. Someday I'm ready to put 20 videos. A lot of guys are going to subscribe to my channel because I put 20 videos. What can I do if 20 person had asked me question? So in one flow, I'm going to make 20 videos. I'm going to upload. If you are going to subscribe, I really do not care. I'm not asking you to subscribe to my channel. And then if you have any real question, I mean, ask me tech related question, technology question, I will be better helping you off. So email me at jimmyageek.com. And then I hope so. This is my first question, which I answer with my new camera. Normally, I record my question with my Lumia. 1520 I love my phone Lumia 1520 I really love my phone it's Lumia 1520 but now I just bought a new camera because I'm trying to upgrade my YouTube channel I'm mean, trying to invest money at I bought this like 400 bucks Sony W X 500 which I'm recording video with it I hope so the result will be good so why not subscribe to my channel if you have any question you can leave in a comment box below or you can email me at jimmyageek.com it's me Sorry, jimmyageek at gmail.com. It's me, jimmyageek. Bye.